people. And now to Senator John McCain, who knows how crucial Pennsylvania will be in deciding this election. He is campaigning across the state today. Sunday, I sat down with him here in Philadelphia. We started by talking about America's economy in crisis. Last week on Today, the senator said that he was opposed to a government bailout of insurance giant AIG. Now he appears to have softened his position. So I began by asking him if he now believes in bailouts. The role of government is fundamentally is to help American people when they are into situations that are not of their own making. So certainly I believe in regulation. I spoke out two years ago against Fannie and Freddie. I argued against it. I have said corporate greed four years ago. I spoke against specific examples and uh, and other but, examples but of corporate greed. So I'm, I, I'm very clear in my position. But some people watching you, Senator, over the past week said, well, he, he's not really clear. He says one thing. Then the next well, day he says something else. Actually, I've been very clear. The American worker is the best and the fundamentals of our economy, and they have been put into a terrible crisis by the excess and greed in Washington and Wall Street. And that's what I've said consistently. I proposed a plan. I proposed a plan to help our economy, but we've got to have an oversight board. We've got to have a group of Americans... Mitt Romney, Warren Buffett, uh, Michael Bloomberg, the best people in America that to oversight this over one trillion dollars apparently that we're going to have to spend to fix America's economy. Despite these steps, more is needed. Let's talk about um, Paulson, the Treasury Secretary, and Ben Bernanke. They, they are not equivocal about the situation at all. They have said to Congress, if you do not accept mm -hmm. this bailout package, this plan, we face certain disaster. Do you share their sense of urgency that we sure. are on the brink of collapse? Absolutely. We are in the most serious crisis since World War II. You know, this bailout plan, now you're hearing a lot of numbers mm. thrown around. I'm mm. hearing the last I heard was around $700 billion, give or take. It's certainly not going to help the national debt at all. We already are fighting two wars, billions of dollars more. You're somebody who said no more taxes. Mm -hmm. Something's got to give. History shows us that if you raise people's taxes in tough economic times, that makes problems worse. That goes back to the Hoover administration. So, so to quote a former president, read my lips, no new taxes under your administration? I, I don't know about, well, that phrase obviously has lots of connotations to it, but no, I'm not going to raise anybody's taxes. So no new taxes if you were president? I will not raise taxes be in a time of a hurting economy because it will hurt, our, uh, will hurt obviously, our ability to recover from this. I am opposed to new taxes. You have said, uh, Senator, that, I mean, there are a lot of reasons for this financial crisis, but you have said, bottom line, it's, it's those fat cats. It's the greed of Wall Street, and you said that you, you promised... And the corruption in Washington. And corruption in Washington. But you, about Wall Street, you said you promised to crack down on CEOs who walked away with huge severance packages. And yet the person that, up until recently, was your public face, really, on your, on your economic policies, was Carly Fiorina. Mm -hmm. She's the former CEO of Hewlett-Packard. She was fired in 2005, but she left with a, I think it was a $45 million dollar golden parachute while 20,000 of her employees were laid off. She is an example of exactly the kind of person you say is at the root of the problem. I the don't CEO, think so. what, how can you say that? I, because I think she did a good job as CEO in many respects. I don't know the details of her compensation package, but she's one of many advisors that I have. But she did get a $45 million dollar golden parachute after being have, fired while 20,000 of her employees were laid off. I have many of the uh, people and I do not know the details of what happened. Senator, let me just ask you because this woman was obviously again the public face on your economic policies. How can you not know I the had, details of her past? I mean that would be awful. Oh, important. I know that she was a very successful uh, businesswoman started out as a part-time secretary and made her way to the top of the corporate ladder as one of the biggest CEOs in the United States of America. John McCain and I, we're going to put an end to the mismanagement and abuses in Washington. I want to uh, touch briefly on your running mate, uh, Sarah sure. Palin. Her two predecessors, Al Gore and Dick Cheney, almost redefined what it means to be a vice president. Very involved, hands-on in the administration. Do you see her taking a large role in your administration? 
Absolutely. Yeah, sure. She'll do a great job. And she shares my world view. I'm very proud of her, and I'm very proud of her job as governor of Alaska. She is 80% approval rating in Alaska, the most popular governor in America. And I'm very proud of the spark that she seems to have ignited across America. Does it bother you, Senator, that, that you draw the biggest crowds when she's there? Oh, that's exciting. It's exciting when she's there. It's, I'm very excited when she's there. It's, it's a wonderful kind of mixture, and we've had a wonderful time together. It's been great. Senator John McCain.